My wife found God. After her miscarriage, my wife started praying a lot, which was odd. As far as I knew, she didn't even believe in God. Every night, she would kneel at the foot of her bed, always in the same place, praying. I gave her time and space to heal. I even waited months to even bring up, eventually trying again. We both wanted a kid. I don't want another kid. I want our son back. She said. Son, we never learned the gender. How did she know it was a boy? <sighs> Slowly, she started praying more and longer. It wasn't just before bed anymore. She would kneel at the bed, incessantly whispering to herself. I would finish a movie by myself and realize... I would finish a movie by myself and realize that she had been praying the whole time. Two hours? <sighs> like I said, this wasn't like her. And I asked why she was praying so much. I'm talking to our son. Honey, our son passed. I know that. I'm not crazy. I'm talking to him on the other side. The other side? What other side? He's safe over there. The shepherd is taking care of him. I think you might want to talk to someone professionally. This doesn't seem healthy. She just laughed it off. <sighs> Sometime after she stopped going to work, I had to beg her to take breaks. So just... I had to beg her to take breaks, just so she would eat. She would wake up, pray until she passed out, wake up and pray again. She was withering away. I needed to help her. I just couldn't figure out how. On the original due date of our son, she woke me up from the living room couch. It's time. I have to show you. She led me to our bedroom and insisted I pray right there, at the foot of the bed where she always did. Uh, what could it hurt? I kneeled down, shut my eyes and pressed my hands together. I was transported to a different world, empty and dark. Before me was a shepherd in a white frock with a green cowl. He held a, f he held a crying infant that he dropped to the ground, laughing. He's perfect, the shepherd said. The perfect buddy. A wire around my neck snapped me back to my bedroom. The shepherd said our son can come back, but he needs your body. She pulled the wire tight. <laughs> Don't struggle. Our son needs an intact body, but your soul can be in it. She had encased my hands with duct tape while they were pressed together praying. I couldn't grab the wire. The more I fought, the tighter the wire got. Everything went dark and I returned to the empty plane. I walked over and I picked up the crying baby. He had my wife's eyes and my nose. Was this really our son?
if I was here with him. That demon shepherd is with my wife. <laughs>